this project will connect a servo to the Nock MCU Mini from the kit. The servo has three wires, orange, red and brown. The brown wire is ground and will extend it with male to female jumper wire of black color for the ground. The red wire is power and will extend it with red male to female jumper wire. The orange wire controls the servo and will extend it with orange wire. The servo is 5 volts and the not MCU Mini has VI in pin that conveniently has 5 volts from the USB. We'll connect the red wire to this pin. We'll connect the black wire to the ground pin and we'll connect the orange wire to digital pin 3. We will start with new Gizuino project, select board type as node MCU, expand modules, Wi-Fi, set the host name as servo, add access point, Set SSID for the access point, in my case ASUS, and password. Close the access points editor. Expand modules, Wi Fi, and add a server socket. Set the port to 8080. Close the sockets editor. The data will arrive as integer value. We can use split structure to extract the value from the packet. Connect the output pin of the server socket to the input pin of split structure. Click on the tools button and add integer channel. Close the elements editor. The integer value will be between 0 and 1000. We need to convert it to range of 0 to 1 for the servo. For this, we can divide it by 1000. Add divide by value component. Set the value to 1000. Connect the output of the integer element to the input of divide by value. Now we need to add component to control the servo. Connect the output pin of divide by value to the input pin of the servo control component. And connect the output of the servo component to the digital input pin of digital channel 3 where our servo is connected. Generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino ID. Compile and upload the project. The code is uploaded and the module is ready. Now it's time to connect to the module from Delphi. We will start by adding client socket component. Set the host name as servo followed by dot. Make sure you add the dot at the end, otherwise the module will not be discovered on the network. Set the port number to 8080. To pack the data, we'll use make structure. And we'll use a track bar to control the servo.
set the max property of the track bar to 1000. Select the position property and click on the button at front of the property name. Select integer source pin. This will add integer source pin to the position property using Visual Live Binding. Click on the Open Wire tab. Click on the Tools button of the Make Structure and add integer channel. Connect the position pin of the track bar to the in pin of the integer element. Connect the out pin of the make structure to the in pin of the socket. Compile and run the application. You can see that we can use the track bar to control the cell.